Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to manually install an update on your Oculus Quest device. And why would you want to do that? Well, for no, let me just turn my phone off. <laughs> so, one of the reasons you might want to do that, and I'll say the main reason, is you go to your Oculus device, you know, new updates come out. Like version 28 is out. I couldn't install that without using this method. It just wasn't available to you know prevent facebook servers from being overloaded they slowly roll out the update that's fair enough but that means sometimes you don't get it people in america generally get it before other people i'm in the uk so i haven't got it yet so the only way to do get it is either wait and if you don't wait you have to do what is called side loading make sure your device is in developer mode i've got a separate video covering that there'll be a link in the description so feel free to check that out so i just want to give you a little disclaimer this should be fine you shouldn't have any issues but you know i'm not you know liable for anything you know that does happen okay so what you want to do is go to what did this have been a bit Actually, I'll move this over here. What you want to do is go to the GitHub, I mean the Discord page for the Sonar Systems channel. There'll be a link in the description. So go to the Git, the Discord page, scroll down and go to Emulation and Games, and then go to Oculus. And in Oculus, go to Pinned Messages. And you might have to scroll down depending on when you watch this video. Or find the ADB for side loading onto Quest. Click download on that. Next, you need the Oculus Quest update. So click the Google Drive link. I've got, you know, the versions. I've got version 28 at the moment. If there's a version that you need and it's not on there, let me know and I'll upload it. Just go into the folder. Just double click the zip file. Click download. Download anyway. You'll start downloading. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it. So click cancel. And now what we need to do is actually force the install so what we want to do now is right click on adb.zip go to extract all extract and in this folder that is all created in there there'll be an adb folder with all these files we want to move this into here and move this into the folder where all this is now what we want to do is copy this folder Go to local disk C, paste it in the root. Shouldn't take long, it's not very big. And in there, we need to run adb.exe. To do that, type in command prompt, right click it, go to run as administrator. This pops up the UAC, click yes. And now we need to navigate to this folder. So type in cd, right click there, copy address as text, press control V on your keyboard, or just right click. And you'll put it press enter and now we're in here so now what we need to do is make sure the device is off okay the device is off make sure your oculus quest device is off press the volume down button keep that pressed and then press the power button keep the volume down button pressed and the power button until you see the oculus logo immediately let go because sometimes if you keep it pressed it just boots into the general general ocular system because it presses the first button in the update menu and if i do it now wait till the oculus logo appears let go and we get the usb update mode oh you know i could try and show you like that you're probably not going to really see much there it's, it's a bit you know awkward so what you want to do is i'll show you here this is what the menu will look like if you press volume down you'll go down if you press volume up you'll go up in the selection go to side load update i'm going to do that press the power button and it's selected that once this led turns everyone says purple i'm seeing more like a purpley blue depending on what angle i look at but once it turns to like a purpley blue color you're in, you won't see anything on the screen you're in the update mode so now plug this in i recommend anchors cables i always have great experience with them in terms of the you know vr and in general 
And now what you want to do in here, type in adb.exe sideload space. And you can either rename this to something a bit easier like update or just copy the name, paste it and put dot zip. If there's space in the name, just put quotations around the name and you know the format part. Press enter. And if the daemon's not running, it'll start it. That's fine. Daemon started successfully. And it is serving me up now. Okay, so total transfer. So mine was a lot quicker than it, you know, when I first did it for the simple reason I have actually already, you know, done it before. So it's just booting it into Oculus. But for you, it'll probably take a few minutes. Once that's done, it'll boot into the Oculus, you know, Quest headset automatically. It'll take a further few minutes to actually gain to the headset. That's just the first time that, you, you know, when you do an update. So that's not an issue at all. So if I go up to my headset, let's have a quick look. And I have version 28 now, so I can use features like 120 hertz. I can use features like Oculus Air Link, and I'll you know I'll be creating videos on all of that stuff. That's the reason I created this video. I was going to update. I updated my Oculus software on PC. I was going to update my Oculus headset. I was going to create a video on Oculus Air Link on 120 hertz, enabling that, and then I couldn't update it. So I was like, let's figure out the other way. Looked online, there was a way. I had a few little nuances, little problems with it. But once I figured them out, I was like, might as well make a video about it. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. There's, like I said, there's a link in the description to the Discord, which you would have already gone to to get the files. Feel free to post like in the Oculus channel or one of the other channels if you're interested in something else. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.